Hey -o, Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens. It's Omni Dog here with a short instructional video because there are a lot of new people in the hobby that don't know quite how to handle their vinyl and take care of their vinyl. So I thought I would show you, those of you who are new to the hobby or old to the hobby and haven't learned yet that these need to be handled in a special way. Vinyl does. So here is a winged victory for the Solon, some post rock. Do not ever let your, here's what you want to do. Here's the top of it, of the sleeve. You want to gently lift it out like this. Let your middle finger touch the center label with your thumb on the edge. Do not ever let any fingers touch the grooves because that embeds oil from your hands and dust into the grooves of the album. You always want to hold the record thusly. So to put it on, fingers in the middle, thumb on the edge, and I'm going over to my turntable, and I set it down. Set it down. There we go. And there it is. And then you turn it on. One thing you can do, now I have an old school cleaner. This is way old school, uh, but I'll put a link in the instructions you really should clean your vinyl all the time with one of these uh, vinyl cleaners. Uh, it's very important to get the dust out of the grooves, any detritus, because that's where you hear the pops and clicks that are going on that record with the tone arm there. So a quick demonstration let's see if I can do it right, is you turn it on and you apply the liquid right here. Do the instructions on whatever you buy because you won't be able to get this anymore. This is 40 years old, but it still works. And you want to lightly hold it here and roll it up as you see that I'm doing. And there will be dust. You can't see it that well, but there will be dust that you pick up here. And then it is ready to be played. Now, say you're done. So you turn it off. How do you put it back? Lift it up like that, thumb in the middle, middle, <laughs> sorry, middle finger in the middle, thumb on the edge, and you gently place it back in your sleeve that hopefully has plastic in the middle because that helps protect your investment because you guys are out there now spending 25 and 30 upwards you know some of you are paying even more for your records you need that plastic in there to protect it let me show you i'm in the middle of a project you can buy and i'll put a link in the description you can buy uh replacement sleeves see this is an old Black Flag album that's, uh, they had legal issues, so they had to <laughs> blacken out the bars and redact all the Black Flag references. So this is an oldie. I don't even know if you can get it anymore, but it's called Everything Went Black. I'm going through a project where I'm taking every paper sleeve this is just paper and replacing them with plastic plastic encased uh, 
sleeves that you can get. I think Mobile Fidelity makes them. They're a good investment. They're not expensive. They're totally worth it because paper can scratch and trap your out trap your uh, dust into your album. So you want to get the protective sleeves. So that is what we've learned today. How you handle your vinyl. Once again, never let your fingers touch the vinyl as that traps dust and oil into the grooves and makes your music sound bad. So there's the technique. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, learned something. And if you have any vinyl related questions, I know this is a book channel. I know this is a book channel, but uh, there are vinyl fans of you out there and be careful with your vinyl because it is uh, very fragile and you guys are spending a lot of money on it now as opposed to the five bucks an album that I used to spend as a wee lad. So there we go. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment if you can. That's not a very flattering picture. Please like and comment if you can. Please subscribe. And if you have any vinyl-related or book-related questions, you can always ask me, Omnidog. Thank you so much.